Thank you, my gift. Now, would you read that over to me? You are hereby commanded to dispatch three cavalry squadrons and four infantry regiments and as many machine gun detachments as can be spared from the northern sector under the command of General Ivanov and selected loyal and trustworthy officers to march at once upon Petrograd to restore order in the capital and proclaim a state of martial law. Yes, good. You can dispatch it to General Alexeyev at the next station. With respect, Your Majesty, would it not be wiser to wait until you've discussed the matter with the cabinet? I have no wish, Colonel, to arrive in Petrograd only to be arrested by a wild horde of drunken anarchists. Besides, I have my family to think of. The train's slowing down. Are we stopping? I will inquire, Your Majesty. I must insist on an audience with the Emperor at once. The matter is of the utmost gravity. General Ruski. Your Imperial Majesty. I'm here, Your Majesty, at the request of the delegates of the Duma and the Cabinet of Ministers of the Provisional Government. But I gave orders for the Duma to be dissolved three days ago. And the express command of General Alexeyev to request, in view of the gravity of the political situation and the imminent danger of civil war, that, that Your Majesty abdicate the throne immediately. Representatives from the Provisional Government will take the earliest opportunity to present Your Majesty with the necessary documents. I do not quite understand the position of a monarch who reigns but does not govern. I have sworn a duty before God to serve my country and accept responsibility for state affairs. If I agree to curtail or relegate that power, I may relinquish control over the country's affairs, but I cannot evade responsibility for them. even if I would wish it, even if I would wish it. I cannot see to your request. Then, sir, the Duma will not request, but demand. Excuse me, um, 